Hey, it's been a while. Welcome back to Pastor Dreamer Vlogs. I know, we took a little break during the summer, but we are back with season two. And the plan for season two is for it to go all the way into the month of December, doing what we like best, which is talking about what matters to Christian teens today. Once again, my name is Felipe and I like Faith Made Simple. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, go on ahead and do so for new content dropping every single Thursday. A couple of months ago, I posted a video all about anime and my thoughts on whether Christians who love and follow Jesus Christ should actually watch anime. If you need to watch that video, click on this link right above me and it should take you there. But with that being said, let's take this conversation a little bit further. Now, assuming that you have watched the previous video on the channel on anime, I must remind you that I too am a fan of anime ever since I was a kid back in the 90s. But my relationship with anime is a little bit different. You see, I'm really picky about my anime and I think that generally there are two types of anime fans out there. There's type A, the ones who feel that they have to consume every single show that pops up. And then there's type B, those who wait and like to choose anime really, really carefully uh, before they make sure that they're getting the cream of the anime crap. And I just guess I'm type B. In the comment section of the first anime video, I saw plenty of messages from fans of anime who wanted my perspective on particular shows, uh, being that I am a pastor and all. And some others wanted to know how they could be more careful in choosing shows to watch. And I will say this again, I am not here to tell you what to do or what not to do when it comes to watching anime. You see, all I did in the last video was to give every one of us a strategy to enjoy and consume anime in a non-destructive way when it comes to our Christian walk. Now, let me tell you what I do. You ready? I tend to stick to three types of anime. Number one is sci-fi, kind of like Cowboy Bebop. Number two is sports anime, kind of like haiku. And number three are period pieces, such as Roroni Kenshin. And plus, on top of that, I tend to avoid shows that emphasize hypersexualization and just brutal gore or brutal violence. And by sticking to this strategy, I kind of help myself to stay away from anime that just embodies much more demonic imagery or much darker themes. Let me ask you this, is food good? Yes, it is. But some types of food are not good for us in the long run, right? Eating apples every day will do much better for our bodies than eating donuts every day. Although donuts may be good. Is anime good? It is. But some types of anime will, over time, deteriorate our relationship with Jesus and our relationship with the world around us simply because of the ideas that they present. Once again, Proverbs 4.23 tells us that we ought to guard our hearts because everything that we do flows right from them. And in summary, I will never tell you what to watch and what not to watch, but I will always give you the tools to choose wisely. You see, it doesn't hurt for us to be a little bit more selective on what we watch just as we choose and are selective about what we eat. And that's all I have for you today. If you like what you have just watched and you find this content valuable, please go ahead and share a like, share a comment, subscribe to the channel. It would mean the whole world. New videos are dropping every Thursday and I hope to see you then. Peace.